Hello, and welcome to What Really Matters with Dr. Sherry Scott. What matters to you matters to me. On today's episode, let's journey together. Here we go. Hello, <laughs> welcome to What Really Matters with Dr. Sherry Scott. Kind of interesting view you see here, right? Yes, I am sitting in a kayak. <laughs> I'm in a kayak. My first time and I am with my dear friend Cheryl and she's in her kayak and we are on the water. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Dr. Cheryl. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Cheryl. Hi, Dr. We're both Dr. Doctor. But anyway, um, we're just doing some... Yeah, we're both doctors. Uh, we just want to do something a little fun today. We want to do an interview on the lake. We're in uh, the state of Virginia on a wonderful, beautiful lake that I'm not going to quite name. But uh, anyway, um, I'm actually here. I'm just going to wave. Hello. <laughs> but, sure, Dr. Shaw, what really ma why do you like kayaking? And what really matters to you? What, what benefit is it? And why do you do this? The reason that I'm out, out in is that I love being in nature. And it's a real presence of God being here in all matters. In the trees, the trees are starting to turn a light green. Beautiful. The birds are chirping, the geese are flying, the the crackling of the woods because people are getting rid of their <laughs> wooden debris. And it's just very peaceful. So it, for yes. me, it gives me time to meditate yeah. and be present. And yeah. to just Amen. Um, do prayers of gratitude yes. for all the lovely activities and experiences that I've had, not only in the weekend, but yeah. as I continue to do this in kayak, is there's always a presence of God being out in nature. Mm. If you stop and listen, mm -hmm. you will hear, and, and it just raises the vibration of spirituality. Mm. So just that beautiful sweet presence of nature and you you hit on a, a very important word you use the word presence there's just a sweet presence in while you're in nature and on the water like this and the sun is just beaming down on both of us and so with that presence of God showing off in the water and we become a part of that as we are in the water and we're using our kayaks to yeah, experience I, it, this beauty. It gives me a recognition of how vulnerable it, I am because yeah, yeah. And I'm just a little speck. As I was trying yes. to get in my kayak, yeah. I interfaced <laughs> with the water and found out the temperature of the lake. Uh, and, oh. and also to know that there, to always trust that there That's was good. some people that yeah. were out fishing and yeah. they just stopped what they were doing even though they were being mindful yeah. of just being peaceful they drove all the a long way to get here yeah and they just stopped what they were doing and helped out and that's and and so part of that presence part of that beauty and nature somebody even came right out and and helped you yeah, they, out of the guy nowhere. out of nowhere the guy I, just came out of his fishing boat and then just decided uh oh somebody needs help and that's what we do when we when you're in nature and you're just spending time with God you know it could be the animals that come and help you it could be a person but when you need help somebody was there yeah and i don't live in fear no I don't oh no live in fear of going out yeah now would i 
go out on a on water by myself? No, just like I don't go out right. on horses by myself because right. it's just right. it's just not being smart. But it's but, safety. You're talking about safety. Yes. Yeah. So you know, and so we're just kind of enjoying this beauty, this nature with this beautiful lake here. And and as as Dr. Cheryl just said, you know, the the trees are just starting to come around. You know. And the, the color, the sky is just beautiful. And it's a, it's a remembrance. It's a remembrance of that the Lord God Almighty owns it all. He makes the lakes. He puts the trees. And always be there with you to keep you safe. You're always with you. And he'll bring someone to come alongside you. You know, we try to help each other. And as we saw, you know, we can't do everything by ourselves. No. But we have to have help from others. In that little movie we saw last night, the guy that he found out that you can't, you cannot be, what's the saying? You can't be like your own person, you know, building this thing by can't yourself. Let ego drive. No, you're not. We're not driven by ego. We're just driven by love. We're driven by sharing, caring, but also enjoying, enjoying what God has to offer us. So, you know, a couple of scriptures that I think about as we're here is um, we worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness, and this is this is a form of worship. Just when we just, as you said, we, we, we're quiet, we're, we're still, and we're hearing. We're, I'm hearing the birds right now. We're hearing what God's trying to tell us right now. And we just listen to that. And then the other one that comes to mind is um, he leads us on his paths of righteousness. And then also he shows us the path of life. And life is not just people, but it's nature. It's birds. Listen to the birds. It's the trees, it's the animals, it's the water, it's the wind, it's beauty. So he the shows the and the warmth of the we sun. Have the fire. We have the, warmth we have the, the fire. Sun. And so he shows us his, uh, he, um, he shows us his path of life. And in his presence, where we are right now, is fullness of joy and pleasures evermore. And we are enjoying the pleasures because I've got my kayak here. Well, it's not mine, but I, I did get some new uh, fin paddles right here. <laughs> this is all new for me. I have to tell you, this is my first time. Okay, so this is this <laughs> is this. A risk. I'm taking, taking a, risk. a risk. I'm on a paddle. I'm, I'm in. I'm in the kayak, but we're having fun. But I just wanted to tell you, so glad you're here with us today. Just wanted to show you something totally different. Thank you, Dr. Shell, for yeah, just sharing for how here. this hits your heart. You feel the peace and the presence of God, leading and guiding you and protecting you. That's what you said. I do. And um, and in His presence is fullness of joy and pleasures pleasures evermore. Life offers so many pleasures. We should take advantage of all his pleasures that he offers. Don't live in fear, as Dr. Sherwood just said. Don't live in fear. But take those pleasures and scoop them right up. And God will take care of you as you go. So until next time, we'll see you on What Really Matters with Dr. Sherry Scott. Don't forget to click subscribe and the reason why I subscribe is because I need to get the numbers up so that we can do some live feeds real soon okay so God bless you and until next time I'm gonna give you a little scan and we'll see you real soon yes enjoy the day bye bye bye